Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany Real. I want to apologize for the background noise. The fan is on in here and um, to me it's just loud. So, I was listening to Tariq Nasheed this morning when I was getting ready for work. And um, if you don't know who Tariq Nasheed is, he's the creator of... Um, the Hidden Colors series, 1804, um, and he has several different shows on YouTube, so I was listening to his uh, video, and it was, the title was Sacrificing or Soft Shoeing, and he was talking about different topics, he was talking about the Kamala thing, and Snoop Dogg and smoking weed and all that. And he also talked about Cory Booker and stuff like that. But then he started talking about Monique, comedian Monique, and when she was on the Steve Harvey show. I don't watch Steve Harvey because I just don't watch Steve, Steve Harvey. I don't read his books and nothing like that. Um, uh, I just... I'm not going to say I don't like Steve Harvey because I don't know him, but I think that uh, he's not somebody that I would, that I follow, that I want to follow and stuff. So, Tariq played part of the interview with Monique, and it pissed me off on so many levels because, thank you, Lawrence. It pissed me off on so many levels because, you know, we always pick sides. Because we have the internet now, people put stuff out, and we automatically take sides. And we tend to take sides, we tend to take the wrong side. If somebody's popping, if somebody's making a lot of money, you know, seems to have it going on, we tend to take their side. And then when people are like on a downswing and don't have it going on so much, we tend to brush them off and push them away as if, you know, they're insignificant. But sometimes that person that we throw away is the person that is telling the truth. That person is the one that's staying true to themselves and staying true to the people while the people that we praise, the ones that we honor, the ones that we glorify are the ones that are deceitful and willing to basically do whatever it takes to be in a certain position. So when Tariq played part of the interview that he had with, that Steve Harvey had with Monique, I can't say I was really disappointed because, you know, I don't have high expectations, especially from people in the entertainment world. But what pained me the most is that he is a black man. And on public television in front of millions of people, mostly Caucasian people, he admits to throwing his own comedic sister under the bus. Everything that she said was the truth. And she said it on his show. Publicly, they would not support her. Behind closed doors, she was right. But they're not willing to go public to defend her honor. Because of the money. So I went through and I went over and over again and listened because I wanted to write down some of the things that she said, that they both said. And she was like, none of you guys, even Oprah, none of you guys were willing to come public and say that I'm right. So... Harvey says when you tell the truth 
we have to live with the repercussions of the truth. We're black out here. We can't do it any way we want to out here. Sydney, Sydney, Monique's husband. Sydney can't be the Sydney he really is out here. That flexing, we got to flex in a different way. So basically what he's saying is, this is the white man's world. We black. So in order for us to be successful, we have to do it the white man's way. We can't be out here flexing. We can't be out here um, putting our truth out. We can't be out here standing up to people and stuff like that. Basically, because this is their way, we got to do it their way. We can't be our true selves out here in these streets. We have to shuck and jive and do whatever we need to do in order to get what we want. So then he goes on to say, this is the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. This is the money game. We in the money game. And you can't sacrifice. When you're in the money game, you can't sacrifice yourself. The best thing you can do for poor people is not be one of them. Because you can't help them all. little piece of okay anywho so basically if you're trying to get that money if you're trying to get that bag then basically fuck everybody else because it's all about the bag and I'm gonna repeat it one more time this is the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. This is the money game. We in the money game. And when you're in the money game, you can't sacrifice yourself. The best thing you can do for poor people is not be one of them. You can't help them all. So Monique goes on to say, before the money game, there was the integrity game. So Steve says, if I crumble, my family crum crumbles, my grandchildren, children, wife, yada, yada, yada. My family crumbles if I crumble. I cannot, for the sake of my integrity... Stand up here and let everybody counting on me crumble. Just so I can make a statement. There are ways to win the war. In different ways. So, he says on national television. That he's not willing to sacrifice his integrity for the bag. So basically, the bag is more important than his integrity. So therefore, if something happens, like Monique got blackballed, he admitted she was blackballed. And supported it. Not one person came to her defense. Until she's no longer blackballed, we ain't doing nothing. Nobody's willing to give up the bag for integrity. So basically, if you want the money, if you want the fame, you know, you have to do whatever it is to get it. And you just got to smile and bear it. And you can't be your true self out here because we black. He said that out of his mouth. We're black. You can't be the real you out here in these streets. 
You have to be the way they want you to be. You have to talk the way they want you to talk. You have to dress the way they want you to dress. You have to clown the way they want you to clown. And the thing is, people in the audience, and I'm sure a lot of black people in the audience, are agreeing with what he has to say. So basically what he's saying is that if you want success, then you have to be willing to be in bondage. Wasn't slavery all about your language being taken? Your, your, your faith system taken? Your language being taken? All of that? You had to leave all of that on the ocean's floor? And you had to adopt a new way of life, a new culture, a new religion. So basically, what Steve Harvey said is that basically, in order to get what you want, you have to be a slave. And you have to do whatever it is they want you to do. Because if you don't, you're going to be blackballed. And that's acceptable behavior. Back in the day, if you ran away, if you went against the grain, they beat you, they killed you, they hanged you from trees, they burned you alive in front of the town, they mutilated you, stuffed your genitals in your mouth and all of that if you didn't go along. And a lot of times it wasn't that you went, didn't get go along, it's just that they said you didn't go along. So if the people, the powers that be in Hollywood say, oh, you didn't dance and shuck enough, so I'm going to cut you at your kneecaps just because they feel like it. It's very disheartening to hear it. It's one thing to read it in a um, in an article. It's one thing for people to talk about it. But to hear this man's voice, this black man's voice, to hear him say the things that he said to Monique, it hurt me as a black woman. Because he and all those other powerful black people that were talking to her behind closed doors, those people that agreed with her behind closed doors, those people that failed to come forward and stand up for her and had her out there looking crazy. You telling me that getting the bag is more important than your integrity. And losing your career I'm trying not to get emotional. I don't like Steve Harvey per se. But he has a platform. And there's millions of people watching this motherfucker. Every fucking day. There's millions of people that bought his stinking ass books. Watched movies based on his stinking ass books. And then he has the audacity to go on live television with a black woman. And tell a black woman then that making money is more important than a person's integrity. You telling a person on national television that they can't be their real selves. They can't be their true selves. That bothers me. Because he's a black man. And he has a responsibility, not only to his family, but as black, but for black people as a whole. And he's telling the world that I can be bought. And I'm willing to give up my integrity just, because, just so my family won't crumble. There's a lot of poor people in this country that are happy. There's a lot of working poor people get up and work hard every day to make what they make. And they have a roof over their head. They can pay their bills. They, they, they're living a good life. 
being poor doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. And he's telling her that the best thing you can do. The, let me read that shit up again. The best thing you can do for poor people is not be one of them. Because you can't help them all. I understand that you want your family to be taken care of. I understand that you want to be able to leave something for your children so that they don't have to worry about struggling and all that stuff. But one thing that you won't leave them is integrity because you're teaching them you're showing them that in order to get the bag I'm willing to do anything even if that means making this woman who's been out there telling the truth all she did was tell the truth and I'm gonna turn a blind eye and let them assassinate my sister My sister, I'm not willing to risk losing anything I got for my sister, even though she's right. I'm going to let her stand in front of the gun range and just be shot up and killed. Because I'm not going to lose my bag. I'm not going to let my shit crumble. You a black man first before you a game show host, before you a talk show host. You a black man. And you on television telling a woman your husband can't be himself, his true self. We black. We can't be our true selves if we want to have anything. Because we black. So you telling people on national television... You telling people on national television that we are inferior. And if we want anything in life, we got to fall in line. Are you kidding me? Steve Harvey, you are an asshole. And I wish I was a man because I will find you and I will whoop your ass. Don't say val happy Valentine's Day to me because I don't celebrate holidays. This woman was crucified in the public. She was out there telling the truth. And everybody was out there trying to make it seem like she was a liar. And then she went on this man's show and told him to his face how they threw her under the bus. How they told her behind closed doors that she didn't do nothing wrong. And not one of them motherfuckers came forward to stand with her and say she was right. And we wonder why we can't get nowhere. We wonder why we can't get nowhere because we some selfish motherfuckers. We some greedy motherfuckers. How much fucking money does he need? With the money that he makes, he can start his own networks. He can start his own corporations and do stuff like that. And pull people together and start their own shit. But you want to be stuck up some white person's ass so bad that you're willing to sell your sister down the road just so you won't lose your bag. You ain't shit. You're teaching black people. To be slaves. You teaching black people. We are inferior. And just do what you got to do to make it through. You telling the world. 
that when you black, you can't really be who you really are in public in order to get ahead. You are telling people all over the world that you accept your role as a slave. Men, black men, are supposed to be the head. Black men are supposed to be the kings. Black men are supposed to be the most powerful. Black men are the ones that we're supposed to follow. But how the fuck am I supposed to follow a man that's telling us to be slaves? I can't do that. I can't do that. It hurts me so bad. I don't even know Monique. I don't even know Steve Harvey. But it hurts me to my core because he was on his show, his platform, admitting that this woman was blackballed. He admitted he was black. she was blackballed. He admitted that behind closed doors, they all told this woman she didn't do nothing wrong. He admitted that he stood by and just, just let them throw her under the bus. He admitted all these things. He let that lady stand alone. All them motherfuckers that she was talking about, they let her stand alone because they were not willing to get out under the thumbs of white supremacy. And that is fucked up. That is fucked up. You told the whole freaking world you can't be flexing like that. We got to find a different way to flex. Sydney, your husband, he can't be out here being the real Sydney. He can't be who he really is. We black. We can't be out here moving like they move. And it bothers me because this motherfucker has influence. People listen to him. You got a whole bunch of brainwashed motherfuckers listening to a comedian. A whole bunch of black women listen to him talk about how to get a man and think like a man and all this other stuff. You got groupies all over the world following him. So the motherfucker has influence. But to be on your show with a black woman, you a black man and you on your show with a black woman and you tell this black woman that you're not willing to sacrifice the bag for integrity. And for those who don't know what integrity means, I'm going to give you the, the pay flash integrity. The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Moral uprightness. So you're telling me that you're willing to do anything. You're going to do anything to keep that bag. I will lead the world astray as long as I'm taking care of my family and as long as my family doesn't crumble. That, that's what you just, you told the world that. And not only did you tell the world that, you did it with a black woman sitting by your dog on side. That hurt. That, it, it, it hurts me because there's so many people there's people who don't even make a quarter of what he makes. Who have that same mentality. Hey, Edwin. They have that same mentality. We don't give a fuck about each other because we chasing a bag.
it just bothers me. Like, it really, really bothers me because... We are a fucked up people. A man is supposed to protect and provide for his people. If you go to different villages, the man has a role. He, he has a leadership role. And the woman is part of that cast. She's the supporting cast. And everybody works together to make sure that the tribe flows. That it flows. The men are taught to hunt and do all the things they need to do so they can go out there. And they can get the food and stuff like that to make sure that the tribe is protected. The women, they do... The things they do, they keep the house clean, they take, they nurture the children, they cook the food, they prepare the food and feed the men when they come back from a long days of hard work. And everybody plays a position so that the tribe, the tribe runs smoothly. Everybody takes care of each other. But you have this man... This man who told the world, I only care about me and mine. I only care about me and mine. So if that means I got to throw your ass under the bus in order for me to provide for me and my family, then that's what I'm going to do. I admit you've been blackballed. I admit... That you didn't do nothing wrong. But see, you know what? You can't be out here being Monique. You can't be out here being Monique. You got to tone that shit down. Because that's not what they want to see. They're not going to hire you for being yourself. You got to put that... When you come out that door, you got to leave Monique at home. And then when... He said, you can't sacrifice yourself. The best thing you can do for poor people is not be one of them. Which means, I understand you want to be a woman of integrity. However, you stick with that integrity shit, you're going to be a broke bitch. And that's basically what he was saying. So in order for you not to be blackballed anymore, Miss Monique, I'm going to need you to get on the bandwagon and stop, and stop being pro-black and get on this winning money team. So... Is slavery. You telling people they can't be themselves. You telling people you can't have your own language. You can't tell your own truth. You just have to bite your lip and pick that fucking cotton. And you better not say nothing. Because if you do, then you lose your livelihood. Hey, Kimmy. That motherfucker got me wasting tears on his fucking ass. Because it bothers me. Because men are supposed to be... I can't follow no man like that. And how could you be married to a man like that? I mean, I understand you live in a life. You got everything you could ever want in life. But to sell your fucking soul in order to get it and then to admit that your soul is sold... It's just bothersome. It's just bothersome. And see, we watch these shows and, you know, we just go through the motions. We don't even pay attention to the messages that are being put out there. 
we just watch it. We might take a laugh and stuff like that because they made you think that she was just some salty bitch. So her words don't have value to us because we've already discredited her. So now she's on her show and come to find out she was telling the truth the whole freaking time. And he's saying, you know, fuck the truth. Fuck the truth. You want to get this bag or what? Because you can be poor like the rest of them motherfuckers. Or you can be rich and, and rock with us. Those are the choices that you have. I don't watch the Steve Harvey show. I'm not going to watch the Steve Harvey show. I'm not going to watch anything that he's affiliated with. In the Bible, it says that there's going to be people that's going to lead the masses astray. And he's one of those motherfuckers because he's on television telling people to be slaves. Good morning. That it's okay to be slaves as long as you're getting the money, as long as you're getting a check. I'm so glad that I'm not related to him. I'm so glad I don't have to see him at no family reunions. I'm so glad that I don't have to be associated with that motherfucker. And any other man that speaks that way or believes that, that you will give up your integrity to get the bag, don't talk to me. Block me. Cause that, I'd rather be poor for the rest of my life. I'd rather for everybody in that has my that shares my DNA. I'd rather them be poor for the rest of their lives and be honest and productive citizens of the world than to have the bag and lead people to their own destruction. I rarely watch TV. that pissed me off and I just I just wanted to talk about it I just wanted to get it off my chest because it, it was just painful to hear it was painful to hear it's painful to hear and then he has a nerve to tell her that she's like a sister to him a little sister to him but you would throw your fucking sister to the wolves like it ain't nothing just to secure your spot. With a brother like that, god damn, you don't need, you don't need no enemies. When you got somebody who proclaims to be a brother to you, is willing to sacrifice you like you ain't shit. And you know it's real, like, you know the things people do in Hollywood, shit. They've been talking about that type of shit since I was a little girl. It's always existed. But I guess to hear somebody with so much influence, when you have power, you can do good or you can do evil. And it's just fucked up because... You got to fight. Black people have to fight every day just because we're black. We got to fight white people. We got to fight everybody else. But it's sad that we have to fight each other. We have to fight each other just as much, if not more. We fight each other because we're afraid to fight that motherfucker. A man that beats up his wife, he'll beat the shit out of his wife, but he's scared to fight the next man. 
he's afraid of getting his ass whooped by the next man. So he preys on somebody who's physically weaker than he is. And Steve Harvey said on national television, he admitted his inferiority to white people in the system. He did that. And I don't have no respect for that. I'm about to get off this live. Because I'm not shedding no more tears for that motherfucker. And he thinks he's the man right now. But when they get rid of his ass, because they're going to get rid of him eventually. When they get tired of his cooning ass. I hope he thinks back to the day that he sold us all out on national television. Monique has a, a show in uh, in Las Vegas because she she stayed true to herself, and eventually, shit doesn't happen when you want it to happen. Shit happens when it's supposed to happen. So she has her gig in Las Vegas, and from what I hear, is doing very well. So you don't have to kiss ass and you don't have to be somebody that you're not in order to get what you're supposed to have. That's one of the reasons why I want to put my films out so bad. I want to be a director and a writer and stuff like that. I want to be a filmmaker and stuff like that. But I'm not willing to sacrifice my integrity for it. I'm not kissing ass. I'm not sucking dick. I'm not doing none of that. Just so I can be on television and stuff like that. Because it's not worth it to me. I'm not going to sell my people out just so I can make a few coins. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be on social media bragging about how I met this person or I'm working with this person or I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Because at the end of the day, they're just another human being just like me. If you guys are not bothered by these people then I don't want to be your Facebook friend. Just block me. Because this is not us. This is not us. This is not us at all. And when you stay true to yourself, you stay true to what the ancestors put in you and you're punished for it. And your own people turn their backs on you. Without hesitation. That is some vile shit. I'm done talking about it. I love you guys. Tonight at 7. Or maybe a few minutes after 7. Um, Pastor JJ and I will be on talking about love and relationships because today's Valentine's Day and y'all gonna, a lot of y'all gonna be bootlegging with your booze, you know, acting like this is the greatest day in the world, eating chocolate that tastes the same yesterday and that's gonna taste the same tomorrow, killing poor roses, you know, for one day. So we're gonna have a relationship, um, um, show. She's also going to talk about her book um, that deals with relationships. It's a good book. I read the book um, years ago. And um, we'll do that tonight at 7 o'clock. I'm sorry for getting emotional. It's just that, you know, 
I gave life. I, 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 I was fruitful. I multiplied. I gave life. I care. I care about all of us. And when I see somebody throw us under the bus on such a major platform, it pisses me the fuck off. Like, I really want to punch him in his motherfucking face. For real, for real. And today, he might not understand how he has psychologically damaged people. But it is my hope that one day he does... And when it does, it's going to damn near kill him. So I love you guys. Have a great day.